Let's run down the most important stories in AI that you need to know from this week. ChatGPT is rolling out multiple new features over the next week. The features are small but meaningful and include prompt examples at the beginning of new chats as well as suggested follow-up prompts, the ability to upload multiple files simultaneously, new keyboard shortcuts, and plus users will now default to the GPT-4 model. While its AI chatbot Bard garners most of the attention right now, Google is slowly adding AI features to standard search through a feature called Search Generative Experience, or SGE. And this week, Google expanded SGE to offer photos and videos in its results, along with linked and dated references and faster performance. Personal Google accounts, or those that don't use Google Workspace, can enable SGE from Google's Search Labs page. OpenAI applied to trademark GPT-5, which will eventually succeed the company's current top language model, GPT-4. And the filing shows that the new model will offer speech recognition and transcription, text-to-speech capability, it'll generate downloadable computer programs, and it'll create new AI models. As an everyday user of voice assistants like Siri and Google Assistant, I'm discouraged by their lack of progress. So I'm thrilled that Google is reinvigorating its assistant with new generative AI technologies. With the changes, Google's restructuring the assistant team, which underscores its commitment to a better direction. And Google also announced a new model called Robotic Transformer, or RT2, which will improve the intelligence of physical robots, including their ability to interpret instructions and make decisions. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and at the streamline.ai to receive only the biggest stories and make the most of AI.